all right so on our community on telegram this is iniski designs youtube community i received this particular message on the group from brainy ernest he says please can someone show me how to achieve this and then when i saw this i asked in the group whether others would be interested should i make a tutorial on this and post on the channel today and then a lot of persons were interested and so that is why i'm making this video so in this video i will um show you how to create this from scratch on pixel lab so uh, we are going to do it together ensure that you follow through ensure that you stay tuned and you watch to the very end to understand how to do something like this first of all let me download this all right now i i believe um ernest saw this particular design somewhere online so i don't know the original owner or i'm not really sure of the original owner so it is not my design that's what i'm trying to say it's not my design okay so let me just cancel this and then let me work with a um plain workspace so i'm going to import that image right sorry i'm going to import that image um so that that will be our guide that will be like our guide to recreating it that will be like our guide to recreating it Wow. Well, sorry. All right. So this is it. Um, this is our image. So I'm just going to hide this somewhere. But before I hide it, now take note that we need to first of all download this PNG. It's actually a PNG. If you want to recreate it on Pixel Lab, it's actually a PNG. Now I'm not going to be using this man picture. I'm not going to be using this is Minister GUC. For those of you who may know him, I'm not going to be using his own image. I'm going to be using my own image for the sake of this tutorial. But first of all, we need to download this particular PNG, this um paper PNG. Now we may not also get this exact PNG, but then we are going to get one that we can use for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to hide this. Then quickly I will go to Chrome. I will go to my Chrome browser. Go to my Chrome browser. Then I'm going to search for paper PNG. That is the keyword. Paper um paper PNG. Um turn paper, right? That is the word. Turn paper png free download yeah turn paper P, um, png free download so um let's begin to look for well i don't want this video to get too long so i'm just going to be more specific again turn square paper right turn square um paper png okay all right i think i think from here now we can get one that we can use um let's see all right i think we can use this one i think we can use this one or this one just for the sake of this tutorial i think we can use this particular one or this one yeah we can use this too so i'm just going to visit this let me download this one yeah you can always um get okay i think this one even looks good so let me download this one from png3 all right so i need to download this okay i'm going to cancel this first now free download come on i have to log in now i don't want this video to be too long so i will just pause it now download it and then play it right so all right so i'll click on free download then i'm just going to download png all right so it's going to download now um your download will start in 14 seconds so i'm going to okay it's downloading already it's downloaded so i will just um come back to pixel lab please pay careful attention now then i will import my image or whatever image you want to use i'm going to import the image i'm not going to be doing any serious editing for this tutorial i'm just going to be showing you how to create that effect so i'm going to um this is my image right this is for those that don't even know how i look like this is it 
if you don't know how i look like let me know in the comment section before before actually before this video if i actually didn't know how um Ineski looks like then let's not let's know ourselves or let me know you guys because me i know myself all right so this is the image this is the image here yeah? i'm going to position this to the center right i'll position this to the center i'm going to lock it now if you are working with an image you need to position it right to um just like this particular um reference this particular reference you see how um this image was positioned so you have to position it the way you want your image to be then the next thing is to import uh, i'm going to import the png i just downloaded so i'm going to go to recent then this is it right this is it so i'm going to just crop it a bit so that um it doesn't get too big and um i'm also going to be careful with that so that i don't because the beauty the beautiful part of this is this um rough um ends so i'm going to mark it and then this is the image we have so i'm going to rotate this right i will just rotate it what, what, what of our re reference okay i think i'm just going to reduce this size bring this here reduce the size bring this here all right so we have this we have this we have this let me just place it here or oh, let me try to um bring down this image a bit i'm just going to bring it down a bit okay all right this is it so i'm going to move this here now I, I like the way it's positioned now now the next thing i'm going to do is to hide this i'm going to hide this then i'm going to save this image right i'm going to save this image um uh, you can save it as custom you can save it um in the best quality but then let me just save it as ultra for the sake of this tutorial and then let's wait for it to save all right our image is saved now now the next thing that we are going to do now is to bring this here now you can see how it's positioned this is how it's going to be positioned right so you have to first of all ensure that you position it correctly now the next thing i'm going to do is to hide this right i'm going to hide this then i'll i'll come here then change the background to transparent and then save this particular image like this right save the gallery so let's wait for it now as if that is not enough we are still going to do one more thing and that is if you if you um look closely you realize that this particular image here has color but this one in this uh, particular um shape it looks like this particular one is decolorized more like the saturation is reduced so we have to do something like that too yeah and that one is very simple just come here go to color filters click on color filters then um come down to saturation and then reduce the saturation so reduce it to your taste right this one is um okay by me i love this so i'm going to save as image then as ultra and then let's wait for it to save again now our work is saved so let me return it back to the original one this is it the next thing i'm going to do now is to the next thing i'm going to do now is to import that image that we um save that png so i'm going to click on import and then this is the one i'm going to bring in now right this is it now mark it please pay careful attention at this point it is very important because if you miss it at this point then you've missed it totally um as touching this effect so now come to don't tamper with the size don't tamper with adjusting don't adjust here don't adjust here just come down to relative size click on relative size don't disable this please don't disable this then increase this to the highest right ensure that the width is 100 ensure that the height is 100 ensure that the um, width and height is 100 then mark so we have that already then the next thing well particularly i like to whenever i increase the size of any image in pixel lab uh, pixel lab i like to copy it the reason why i do that is because as i increase the um size the pixels have been um what's the word i think the pixels have been adjusted something like that and once the pixel is um adjusted tampered with then the quality tend to reduce so what i do is that i delete the original one of the copied um png then look at it 
you see so then the next thing is to come to relative position to ensure that it is well positioned don't adjust this please note if, if i go to my relative size now you realize that it is still 100 100 it needs to be 100 100 very very important so mark it then come to relative position and position this to the center then position this to the middle so we have this now the next thing is to mark it um is to lock it rather i'm locking it now then the next thing is to ensure that it is still selected now go to texture click on texture click on this then import this decolorized one as texture right you are importing this one the one you decolorize or the one that you reduce the saturation or the one you work on basically as texture then mark it can you see it guys can you see it so this is it but now we are not done yet the next thing is you know if I, if we should look at our original one look at it you realize that there is some stroke there are some stroke right some white stroke there so we have to do that too yeah and that is what is left so um this is the this is one we are working with just go to stroke this is stroke click on stroke and then enable the stroke now then um come down you know we are working with white as our stroke color but then you can always be creative right there are no rules to this thing you can be creative with yours i'm just showing you how the guy did his own like just trying to recreate that so then we can just leave it at seven right for the, or let me leave it at um 10 let's see i hope 10 will not be too much okay 10 is too much already so seven looks good let's look at our original image to be sure that we've not <laughs> overdo it all right so yeah we are good we are actually very good we are we're actually good with this so guys this is it this is it guys we've been able to do it now you see i spoke about something that the placement is very important so you see that i did my place it some i did my place this um initially i mean this one i did my place it around here like i i, I did my see shifted it further to the um right you realize that it's not going to cut across the mouth this way but then we've been able to produce a perfect replication of that one i believe you've learned something please if you actually learned something let me know in the comment section i need to hear from you i love feedbacks and i want to hear and i want to hear feedback from you it is very very important for me and don't forget to give this video a like share this video with at least one person a pixel lab user will be so grateful if they um realize that they can do this on just their pixel lab and it, that's for those people that don't know how to do it i know you've learned a lot and i'm going to see you in the next video you know you can always export it so let me just export this particular one for the sake of my youtube thumbnail so i'm just going to um i like to export in the best quality and um the best quality is not ultra for me the best quality is is this so yeah um well since i'll be using it for my okay well let me just leave it at the best quality for me um so just save thank you so much for watching i'm going to see you in my next video now if you are not in my community just check the description box below for the link to join the community see you in the next video